adventure, heading 70 miles south of Florence towards the town of Siena for another exclusive buying opportunity. I love it here, and you can see what I mean. Look at it. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> we are going to go to Villa Montessoli, and we're going to meet, meet Giovanna and Max. They've got two shops, but this is their, their home, and they come from an antique dealing background. So they're second generation, at least, uh, antique dealers. So we see in the private collection or the workshop collection? They don't open the house up to the public usually or to trade. It, it's, it's strictly their home. So we're very lucky to get in here. Home to some of the world's most famous wine, including Chianti, Tuscany was noted for its wine in Greek texts as far back as the third century BC. Today, just over 20 miles outside Siena, a 500-year-old house surrounded by ancient vineyards and olive groves has, for eight decades, been the collecting point for a family antiques business. Now in the hands of fine art restorer Giovanna Leonini and her dealer husband, Massimiliano Aloco Bellini. This house is uh, built in uh, 1536. Giovanna's parents, they start building this business uh, uh, in, in this house, you know, because of the space uh, give, the, give the possibility to uh, yeah, accumulate, you know. We are curious to see what can interest a and if they find something that can interest We are happy. We have a lot of stuff. For us, it's sometimes it's difficult to remember the story, the, the history, the price. But I'm convinced Drew is a, he like discover, you know, <laughs> and here he can yeah he can play because because he's full of secrets. God, it's beautiful. Yeah. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Welcome. Nice Hello. to meet you, Drew. Max. Max. Giovanna. Max. Max. What a place. I'd <laughs> love to have a look around. So what's the deal here? So is everything in here for sale? Yeah, we have two shops right. and we use here like a storage and we restore paintings in the workshop. Okay. Are you buying stuff locally here? It comes here? Yeah. Fixed and then to the shops? Yeah. Okay. So I'm meeting Max and Giovanna and they have this incredible house. You know when people say villa in the Tuscan hills and you imagine this dreamlike place, this is it. This is everything you could possibly imagine. It's, it's beyond words almost how beautiful it is. In the family house, this is the loggia of the villa. Fantastic. You like? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty it's wonderful. Fabulous light in here. Yes. This for sale. You've got two. You've got one there, you've got one there. There's two shop counters. Now, one of them is still there. It's in old white paint, but there's another one that's covered in stuff that has clearly been there decades. This one is a shop counter and a half. Lovely. Incredibly saleable. Probably dating from the second half of the 19th century, when Florence became the capital of the newly unified nation of Italy, this fruit wood shop counter may have been made for a business flourishing in the new era of local prosperity. Decorative and skillfully finished at the shop facing side, while sturdily practical at the back, it will have an eclectic look in a modern setting. And in highly original condition, it could be worth around 2,400 pounds. That's been here a long time. What are you, what are you asking for this? Ah, dobbiamo chiedere. Sì. Oh, you need to call Mama. Sì. Max and Giovanna are, are dealers, but there's another person involved, and that is Mama. And Mama is Giovanna's mum, who's somewhere in this building. And they have to keep calling her to get prices, because a lot of it's hers. She was buying this stuff 30, 40 years ago, and some of it's still here. Now, that's exciting, if not a little tricky. I don't think we've ever dealt with somebody who's in the same building, but we have to call them. She may not be in the room, but it seems nothing gets sold unless Mama is happy. OK. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Prezzo è 1,500 e 1,500. 15. 
1,500. 1,500, okay. 1,500. 1,200 euros. I, I have to ask. She negotiated. I have to ask. Okay. She negotiated negotiate for you for before you. on the phone. Yes, because the phone. For mother you. asked 2,000. Si. I discussed for you with Mama. Did you? Thank you. Well, <laughs> thank Mama. <laughs> um, thank let's, yes. not, let's not argue over 300 pounds. 1,500, yes. Thank you. We'll take it. Giovanna has already got the price down from 2,000 to 1,500 euro. So, pay the money. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. What Thank a room. You. That mirror's pretty fantastic. De la familia Piccolomini. Yes, yes, from Piccolomini family. Piccolomini family. It's a family from Siena, but they had a Pope. In the family? In the family, yeah. I like this. What, what, uh, I don't ask what that, well, I'm going to ask. How much is this? No, Not for sale? No. Not no. for sale, OK. What in here is for sale? What, what do you have in here that's uh, for sale? This table. table. Really? Uh, Chairs. How much is the table? Hmm. Hmm. So we are now in the centre of the house and it's got all of these painted panels and frescoes all the way through to the vaulted ceiling. Right in the middle is this dining table always desirable. It's got the most wonderful turned low stretcher, turned legs to match. That's all original. Top's not completely authentic, but the base is so good that I can let it go. We can do something else with it. Mille euro. Thousand. One thousand. Sold. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Such a great looking thing. If you have your Cotswold, Wiltshire, Devon, Cornwall farmhouse. This is the base of a lifetime's worth of wonderful Christmas dinners. Great breakfasts, a thousand sandwiches are going to be cut on this table. I just need to get it back to the UK. This is the garden. I'd be interested in both of those, in the pair. These are mamas. Si. Yes. Can we, call, can we call you mama? Want, you want to know the price? Si. Please. Si. E non so se lo vende. Non lo so. Ah, oh, we will see. They are the nicest pair of side tables, occasional tables, garden tables you've ever seen in your life. They're just cast iron. OK, these would come out of a mould. They were just turned out, all right? What's happened to them is what's incredible. Somebody thinking, they'll be nice in the garden, I've got two bold bits of marble in the shed, let's put them out there and leave the marble on them and do nothing with them. Decade after decade after decade, they are exceptional to find something like that. In the first century, the Emperor Augustus is said to have boasted that it was he who turned Rome from a city of bricks to one clothed in marble, reserves of which are abundant in northern Italy. Cast in iron in the late 19th century, each of these ornate tables has later been dressed with a simple marble slab top. Now characterfully aged by a lifetime in a Tuscan garden, the pair could now be worth around £3,500. Allora, niente, non li vendi. OK, va bene. Ciao. She say no. 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 That's a shame. I'd really like to buy these. This you could have given me a big figure for. <laughs> Try something. Yeah. Try something. 2,000. Both. Call again. <laughs> you can only say no. At least we've tried. Mamma. 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 Senti, ti, ti offre 2,000 euro di tutte e due. <laughs> <laughs> It's not great when they laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing northern Italy in style, Drew's in an inspired mood. Just to be around it, just to be around it for me is incredible. And in the garden of a 16th century Tuscan villa near Florence, he's fallen for a pair of beautifully aged cast iron marble top tables. But he has to bargain with the elusive head of the family. Mamma. 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 Senti, ti, ti offre 2000 euro di tutte e due. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's got a great way to laugh. Parla piano. Eh? It's Allora, sì o no? Come? Vuole di più, vuole di più. She said yes, but she wanted more. Quindi, 2300? 2300. For both. Both. 2300. Yeah. Sold, yes. Ha okay. detto sì, ok. Venduti. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> so now, you know, the big question, can I buy them? Get Mama on the phone, 2,000 euros. Um, she says no, but, and I could hear the phone, she went, 2,300. I thought, happy days. Let's have them. OK, right, I need to go and have a sit down now. I think we've seen everything. <laughs> OK. Let's go and have a cup of coffee. Today, I've spent the day at Villa Montessoli in the Tuscan Hills um, with a lovely couple buying beautiful things. And really, yes, it is as good as it sounds. Beautiful antiques, excitement at literally every corner. Um, and then topped off by the pair of cast iron garden tables with the marble tops. You don't buy them in shops very often. Exceptional, amazing, beautiful. È stata una sorpresa che la mia mamma abbia detto sì di vendere due tavolini da giardino perché lei non voleva mai venderli. Sono delle persone molto competenti, Druetti, sono capiscono i mobili, gli oggetti e quindi è stata una bella giornata, sì, anche per il business. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it and the house was spectacular. Thank mama. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Grazie. All right, grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie per essere stati Grazie mille. Nice Ciao. to meet you. Ciao. There you go. Oh, what a place. One of the most wonderful houses I've been to in years. By the day, those cast iron tables, mm -hmm. they've just got that thing, that little bit of magic. You did have to prize them out of Mama's hands, though. I'd like to have met Mama. Yeah, she sounds interesting. Yeah, she sounds yeah. tough.
unified nation of Italy. This fruit wood shop counter may have been made for a business flourishing in the new era of local prosperity. Decorative and skillfully finished at the shop facing side, while sturdily practical at the back, it will have an eclectic look in a modern setting. And in highly original condition, it could be worth around £2,400. That's been here a long time. What are you, what are you asking for this? Ad, dobbiamo chiedere. Sì. Oh, you need to call Mama. Sì. Max and Giovanna are, are dealers, but there's another person involved, and that is Mama. And Mama is Giovanna's mum, who's somewhere in this building. And they have to keep calling her to get prices because a lot of it's hers. She was buying this stuff 30, 40 years ago, and some of it's still here. Now, that's exciting, if not a little tricky. I don't think we've ever dealt with somebody who's in the same building, but we have to call them. She may not be in the room, but it seems nothing gets sold unless Mama is happy. OK, ciao, ciao. Ciao. Prezzo è 1.500.